Good morning guys. Today is July 7 and right now we are showing you our routine. We have to wake up as early as 4 o'clock in the morning so that we will be able to water our plants or else these plants and all the plants from the entrance towards the end will just die. Today's episode we are going to show you the effects of not watering the plants and to the leaves and even the fruits of these plants in here what's going on why is it my camera is not focusing me it's only focusing the the water itself I woke up like this guys and you know my hair is growing especially during the time of quarantine we were quarantined for several months and we return now with our regular duty right now I actually skipped one day one day only not to water the plants and I observed that it damaged greatly and to the lips and also you can see later on that some of the fruits did not pursue yeah, because of the intense heat of the sun uh, we have to really observe that if you are a gardener and you are tilling the soil in a sandy manner in the, the soil composition it's all sandy and only very few of it only very few in the composition where you can you can see real soil you really have to water deeply because the water could not could not penetrate or could not stay long in 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 a sandy soil it will just immediately um, evaporate so there is no way where the water can stay longer because it is loose it means the heat of the sun might have contributed to the lightness of the water making it evaporate in the air yet in a in a desert like this it will not process in the water cycle as rain immediately because it's very hot so it will not form in this area clouds but it will go somewhere else well it depends upon the the atmosphere where the atmosphere is going to precipitate all this water resultant from the water cycle but in here really there is an absence to that and very seldom here in this place that we are experiencing rain I think other countries having that um, that that fortunate instance because they are regular regularly experiencing rains in here you really have to exert a lot of effort so that the, the plants will thrive am i talking too much
here there are levels of vines and also the leaves and in here it got dried up it dried up already this is the the effect when I did not water the plants for only one day it also affected the ube see I transferred it here one week ago and it get affected and extremely yes there are lots of leaves in here got dried up yes got dried up already the leaves got dried up not only not only that we saw that some are already so dried up resultant from the wilting process but some died up some died this is actually the rock melon if you were here two days ago uh, the the leaves of the rock melon started to wilt right now there are traces that the leaves wilted see can someone explain to us the instance or scenario why is it that the leaves got wilted scientifically we understand that the dermis the skin beneath the skin there are also water systems wherein uh, the the veins of the linings of the leaves take hold of of the water in the absence of water that's the reason why it got wilted and that's exactly what happened in here how about the face i think similar explanation right maybe when the face got dried up this is what really happened so several of the several leaves of the rock melon got wilted in here from partial to the extreme one in here we can see that it really dried up after all it really dried up after all so eventually on that similar day that we saw that these rock melon got wilted even if the temperature of the water somewhat like um, hotter we took the risk of watering it just to let them recover so better that we rescued these rock melons by watering watering it even if the temperature of the water is a bit hotter and we were able to rescue it and there are signs that it is recovering so from now on we will not neglect our duty to water it so help me god <laughs> okay yeah in here also yeah the leaves of the mongo no it got dried up so severely or is it getting mature that it dried up yeah because there is a sequence right from down up but in here if you're going to understand the other portions of the leaves it seems that it's not yet the leaves time to get dried up or to die you know if it is not really your time to die you will not die but if you are finished with your mission here on earth then it's time for you to go and go back to your creator we're showing showing you now the leaves of the squash as you can observe the edges of the squash dried up also and in the middle of it there are indicators that it started to get decayed is it really time for this squash to get dried up i think it's not yet yeah it's not yet and another extreme effect of non-watering the these plants is that see the young foliage of this of squash didn't push through it immediately dried up the tip of it 
you know it's very important that every tip of